Hello and welcome to the video tutorial for my software synthesizer called the Viltron Cello. The name is a blend derived from violoncello and the term electronics. The idea was to create a synthesizer that would be entirely based on analog cello samples. These should be recorded in six dynamic levels and with seven detune steps. This means that you get six times seven equals 42 native colors out of this instrument even before applying any filters or other effects. When you play a string instrument, you can bow two strings at once. This is called double stops, which can be compared to the term double layers. Here are the seven detune steps at the same dynamic level for you to understand how they were recorded. Every time you shift your finger just a tiny little bit, the pitch becomes ever so slightly different, which in combination with the upper string that always stays steady in pitch, creates these awesome pulsating frequencies. So all in all, this instrument consists of double layer samples. These samples were recorded in 48kHz 24-bit WAV files with a stereo pair of Rode NT5 small diaphragm condensers in a close AB setup. I played 7 detune steps at 6 dynamic levels in 4 pitches, which amounts to 168 samples in total. The recorded pitches were G2, D3, A3 and E4. The lowest string on the cello is a C2, but you don't have a next lower string in order to create double layers, which is why I had to leave that one out. The instrument's native range starts at A0 and goes way up to C7. The samples were layered another time inside the instrument in order to create a homogeneous synth-like sound. Together with the six oscillators, the instrument hosts 252 groups in total, each of these groups represents one of seven detune steps, one of six dynamic levels, and one of six oscillators. Now I would like to show you a few presets that I created and what kind of sounds, effects, and even copies of other instruments this cello synth is capable of producing. Enjoy!
So with this, I would like to conclude part one of this tutorial series. In the next part, we will look deeper into the instruments engine and we will also explore the graphical user interface. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.